We are gearing up for Championship Fight Night live on TBS. Hi, everybody. It's Tony Schiavone in the AEW Control Center. Tonight, we bring you AEW Dynamite live from El Paso, Texas, and on TBS, beginning at 8, 7 Central. And it's going to be Championship Fight Night, where four, four AEW world titles will be in play with two world title bouts and two world title eliminator matches. Now, if you're coming to the event tonight live at the El Paso County Coliseum, then come early, bell time, 5 p.m. local mountain time, and tickets available at AEWTIX.com. Now, coming up on this championship fight night edition of the Control Center, we will hear from Brian Danielson as he goes into his fifth match in his efforts to make it to Revolution next month and face MJF in that 60-minute Iron Man match for the world title. We'll also hear from Roosh and his LFI crew as he prepares to do the dirty work of MJF tonight against Danielson. We'll also check in on the upcoming World Tag Team title match between the champs, the acclaimed, and the guns. Take a special look at the next challenge for AEW Women's World Champion, Jamie Hayter. We'll give you some exclusive information as well about where tickets will become first available in a couple of big events around the country. But first, tonight on Championship Fight Night from the El Paso County Coliseum, AEW World Champion MJF will get in the ring as he will square off against Kanosuke Takeshita in an AEW World Title Eliminator match. As you know, a win by Takeshita tonight. Takeshita will get an AEW World Title shot against MJF. Speaking of MJF, let's take a look at the efforts of the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. There is no question in my mind that Danielson can become the next AEW World Champion. But to do that, he must, of course, beat MJF. But to do that, he must continue to knock down the efforts of the man who MJF has put in front as a roadblock. The latest, last Wednesday on AEW Dynamite, as Danielson faced Timothy Thatcher. And again, Danielson's injured shoulder took a beating. Let's hear now comments from Brian Danielson as tonight he must face his next challenge, Roosh. You can win every week from now until February 8th. I'll give you a match for the Triple B March 5th Revolution. No questions asked. I agreed to MJF stipulation that I have to win five matches in a row in order to get a championship match at Revolution. I'm four matches through, and every opponent has been different. To Keshida. Bandito. Brian Cage. Timothy Thatcher. And now, Roosh. Brian Danielson, MGF pay me a lot of money to beat your ass. And it's exactly what I want to do. I don't think Max understands this. In fact, I know he doesn't understand it. I look forward to all of these challenges. He may have paid Roosh a suitcase full of money, but I'm looking forward to getting into the ring with Roosh because I know that Roosh likes to brawl and he's gonna be different than any opponent that I faced here in AEW and that's probably gonna get to the floor and it's gonna get dirty and it's gonna get mean and that's the kind of thing that I like. So Max, you keep throwing your money around, keep throwing these opponents at me, but at the end of the day, this stuff just makes me smile. Nunca, pero nunca te has enfrentado a un verdadero luchador mexicano como el Toro Blanco Rush. Así que te voy a desmadrar, te voy a pisotear, te voy a escupir y voy a demostrarle a todo el mundo who is el Toro Blanco Rush. Right? Just remember, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. No pasa. Nada, perro. One of the things that I love about stuff like this 
is I get to put myself in the ring against people with all different styles, with all different backgrounds, who have main evented arenas all over the world. And I don't think anybody on this roster has main evented as many big shows potentially as Roosh has. So Roosh, you're my last challenge. I get through you. I get to face MJF for the AEW World Championship at Revolution in an Iron Man match. And I don't think there's anything I don't think there's one single thing that you can do to me that would put me down and keep me down. We're gonna find out tonight live on TBS from El Paso as Danielson and Rouge collide one-on-one. -on -one. Also tonight on Championship Fight Night, Jamie Hayter meets the Bunny in an AEW World Championship Eliminator match. There is nobody hotter in AEW than our women's world champion, Jamie Hayter. So here's a challenge for you. Next week on Dynamite, you and I in an Eliminator match. Fair play to you, Bunny. You had the balls to ask me for an Eliminator match. And of course, I'm more than happy to oblige, but you really don't know what you're getting yourself into. And man, those are heavy hands, ladies and gentlemen. Take it from me, they are heavy hands. I've been wrestling for 16 years. I've been fighting and clawing my way to AEW. I've been here since day one. I think it's about time that I face the AEW Women's Champion. I've never stepped in a ring with her, but from what I've seen, from the kind of matches that she's had, the buckets of blood that she shed, she's... She's got a screw loose, I think. She's a bit of a nutter. I had one of the most violent matches in AEW history. I bled all over that ring. That match pushed me to my limits and prepared me for stepping in the ring with Jamie Hayter. I don't know much about you. You don't know much about me. But on Dynamite, you're gonna find out that Hayter hits hard. I'm gonna prove once and for all what I've known my entire career, what I've fought for, what I've literally bled for, and that is that I am just as good, I hit just as hard, and it's time that people start noticing. Bunny presents quite a challenge for Hater. She is unpredictable and quite frankly, unstable and dangerous. Hater is not back down from any challenge, she forges her way towards becoming one of the finest world champions we've ever had in AEW. Also tonight, the AEW World Tag Team Championship will be on the line as the acclaimed with daddy-ass Billy Gunn will defend against Austin and Colton, the Guns. Yo, listen. Ass boys, you want a shot at the AEW Tag Team titles, but you've done nothing to deserve it. You've been complaining, ooh. Our dad likes you guys better than he likes us. Ooh, wow, oh, I'm so sad. I'm sure you feel horrible. I'm sure you feel like you deserve these, but you don't. Because we've done everything that you've done, except we're way better. Austin and Colton Gunn, they've been engaged in I mean, just a months long rivalry with the acclaim. We beat FTR. We became the top tag team in wrestling, and you guys have just been the ass boys. And if you guys would just accept that you are the ass boys, the fans would love you, just like they love us. But you guys need to get a clue. You've taken a shower, you've hit the weights, you need to gain height, you need to get a clue. What do you want and what will make you happy and what will kind of smooth this all over? Sitting in that therapy session, it brought up a lot of emotions, a lot of regrets, I don't know, a lot of sadness, but the most of all, anger. Everything, and I mean everything, that you're experiencing with the acclaimed right now is a dream we once had with you. And we're gonna take that out on you guys, the acclaimed, and dad, you're gonna watch it all, and there is nothing you can do about it. Who helped you when your partner was in a wheelchair the guns, we showed up for you. But we came to help. We were the ones that helped. And in your raps, you call us ass boys. We were supposed to be friends. We want a shot at those belts, and we want an answer right now. Stop, stop, stop. Do exactly what you did our entire childhood and turn your back on us.
You've been brought up in this business from the time you were born. You know how it works. Why don't you do us a favor and do what you used to do and go drown your sorrows in the bottom of a pill bottle? Our faults as sons are your failures as a father. Do you think that you have what I had? I guess we'll see next week on Dynamite. You got it. Tag team title shot. Wow. The Acclaim's a little perplexed on that. It all comes down to this. The Guns versus the Acclaim for the AEW Tag Team title. A moment that will solidify the Guns as the best second generational tag team in AEW. We are fighting champs. We are the people's choice. We are the people's voice. We are the best tag team alive. And not to mention, everyone loves Dad, one reminder, for all those things you missed in our childhood, for this moment, you'll have a front row seat when your sons become the new AEW Tag Team Champions. So now, we end this discussion, we end the argument, we end all the stuff that we've been through, we took out the trash last year, and I guess we have to finalize it, and we will, on Dynamite. Ass boys, you called down the thunder, well, now you got it. And hell's coming with them. Now, scissor daddy ass. The issue between the acclaimed and the guns has turned into more of a family issue than anything else. With Austin and Colton blaming their father, Billy, for all their problems. Let's see how that plays out tonight when the World Tag Team Championship is on the line. Another world title will be on the line tonight as the AEW World Trios champions, the Elite, fresh off their successful title defense this past Friday on Rampage against Isaiah Cassidy, Matt Hardy, and Ethan Page, will tonight defend the title against Top Flight and AR Fox. Remember, Top Flight is red hot right now with a big win recently over the Young Bucks. And Darius Dante, along with Fox, won the $300,000 Three Kings Christmas Casino Trios Royale. Let's see what they can do against the combo of the Bucks and Kenny Omega. And then tonight, it's the Garcia Guevara gauntlet. As Ricky Starks will tonight go through a gauntlet of first Daniel Garcia, then Magic Matt Menard, then Cool Hand Ange, and finally, Sammy Guevara. If Starks can do all that, if he is successful tonight, he'll get a chance to face Chris Jericho. Very tall order to say the least for absolute Ricky Starks. It's all set for tonight as we bring you Championship Fight Night live on AEW Dynamite on TBS at 8, 7 Central, originating from the El Paso County Coliseum in El Paso, Texas. If you're coming to El Paso, come early. Bell time is 5 p.m. local mountain time. And stay after Dynamite for AEW Rampage. Tickets at AEWTIX.com. Okay, fans, next week on Wednesday, February 15th, we bring you AEW Dynamite live from Laredo, Texas in the Sames Auto Arena. Local bell time in Laredo is 6 p.m. local. Tickets for Laredo next week at AEWTIX.com. In two weeks, that's Wednesday, February 22nd, AEW makes its debut live in Phoenix at the Footprint Center, home of the NBA's Phoenix Suns. Local bell time in Phoenix is 5 p.m. Tickets for Phoenix at AEW. TIX.com. But now these very special announcements. AEW's only Milwaukee live event in 2023 comes to the UW Panther Arena Wednesday, April 12th. And AEW returns to Pittsburgh a week later at the Peterson's Event Center that's on Wednesday, April 19th. Tickets for both Milwaukee on the 12th, Pittsburgh on April 19th, but I'm first available this Friday, February 10th at 10 a.m. local time at AEWTIX.com. But tonight, it's Championship Fight Night live on TBS. With AEW Dynamite live at 8, 7 Central in the El Paso County Coliseum in El Paso, Texas. If you're coming to the event in El Paso tonight, come early. Bell time is 5 p.m. local mountain time. And stay after Dynamite for AEW Rampage. Tickets at AEWTIX.com. This is Tony Schiavone, 
from the AEW Control Center. Once again, thank you for being a fan of this sport and the athletes we all love. I'll see you tonight ringside, live on TBS and in El Paso, Texas. We are AEW.